Hey everyone, it's Epoch here and welcome to my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan, the comic collector geek. Uh, this week's theme is window covers, so any covers that feature a window quite prominently. Um, for me, the challenge in this one wasn't necessarily finding covers that had windows on, but more finding covers that had windows on where something interesting was happening with the, with the windows. So I think I've picked out 10 covers that kind of fit that. Uh, so let's take a look at the 10 uh, window covers that I've picked out from my personal comic book collection. First up this week is Dirty Pair number 3 and here we have the, the two characters on the cover here sitting on the bed um, and we don't see the window itself but we see the reflection of the window as the uh, pale kind of moonlight kind of flows through the uh, the window pane there casting the, the shadow of the window frame on the on the uh, back wall there and, and casting them in the kind of the moonlight which is really cool it's just a kind of a different one for, for, for showing a, a window by showing the um, shadow that's cast by the window rather than the window itself. So I thought that would be a cool one to start us off with. So that's Dirty Pair number three. In ninth place this week is Azrael number 35. Um, I just thought this would be uh, an interesting one as well. Rather than a, a window on a building or a house or something like that, this time it's the, the window of the of the car, the um, so the, the windshield here of the... Uh, of this car and we have hitman who's uh, smashed open the the glass of the of the car window there and is a shooting at um Azrael as he's trying to trying to escape so just for that again another interesting one uh, showing a window on the cover this time a window of a car so that's Azrael number 35 in at number eight this week we have black canary volume two number six which again is another uh, kind of cool and interesting one i love um when uh covers kind of play with uh, blacks and purples and here we have um, kind of two windows here we have this giant window here um bringing in bringing in the light but also we have this villain here crashing in through the skylight so the sky window so there's these two kind of kind of giant light giving windows the the kind of massive one here on the wall and then the, the skylight as well which is cool um as he kind of busts through that glass uh, uh to attack black canary so yeah just another cool uh, window cover so that's black canary volume two number six in seventh place this week is Superman Gen 13 number three, uh, which is the final issue in the mini series. Um, in this series, we have a uh, Fairchild from Gen 13 who gets a, a nasty bump on the head and uh, starts to think that she's actually Supergirl, so tries to help people around the city, but in doing so, actually makes things a whole lot worse and kind of damaging the reputation of Supergirl. Uh, so Supergirl is not too impressed. And here we have kind of like Fairchild on the street here, um, just uh, ready for. Um, ready to you know like take on whatever she's taking on and then you've got Supergirl inside the store here looking out of the window at Fairchild not very impressed because uh, of what's happened and um, so it's just a, it's a cool one with this uh, kind of window um, separating the two there and just uh, so yeah just another interesting window window cover with uh, Supergirl and uh, Fairchild so that's Superman Gen 13 number three Next up this week is Warrior Nun Ariala Resurrection number one, and it's just a, a, a number one issue for for uh, Warrior Nun Ariala. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting because um all of the all the covers I've showed so far are just kind of regular windows, um but uh, with this one um as as uh, she's in this kind of church here, all of the windows are stained glass, which is really cool, which kind of makes the the. Uh, colors kind of really pop on this one which is really nice so just some cool uh, stained glass windows here on the cover of warrior nun ariala resurrection number one in fifth place this week is the savage she hulk number three uh, which is just a cool cover here here we have i guess uh she hulk being defenestrated uh, so being pushed through this window by this uh, guy or punched through this window even by this guy so the glass is going everywhere uh, she has been smashed through the window and she's uh, hurtling to the ground. Um, so just a, just an interesting one with the window there is that the character gets uh, punched through the window, um, which is which is kind of cool. So that's the Savage She-Hulk number three. In at number four this week is the Huntress number two, uh, which is another example of a character kind of crashing through a window. This time uh, it's Huntress crashing through the window to escape the, the gunfire of these uh, kind of goons that are in the, the office behind her. Um, so the, the glass has been smashed by um, Huntress traveling through it, but also for, by the bullets that are traveling through as well. Um, so just, a, just another cool one of a character kind of crashing through a window. So that's the Huntress number two. In at number three, we have Black Widow number five. I believe this is the eighth volume of uh, Black Widow. Uh, so again, we have the same kind of theme here. The character crashing through the window. So in this kind of high-rise skyscraper. 
Uh, again, uh, Black Widow's uh, kind of smashing through the window to, to escape all these goons behind her or blasting her with gunfire. Um, so there's a lot going on, a lot of shattered glass uh, descending to the ground and uh, just uh, just another great uh, window uh, window cover of the, the character crashing through as they, she's escaping this uh, skyscraper of doom. So that's uh, Black Widow number five. In second place this week is The Walking Dead number one. As you can see, this isn't the original uh, um, kind of first print of Walking Dead number one, which is a cool window cover in itself. Um, but I wanted to show this one um, just because it's a bit different. This is a cover for The Walking Dead number one that was released for the, I believe, the 15th anniversary of The Walking Dead. Um, so it's again similar to Walking Dead number one, as you have Rick Grimes here in front of this uh, store. Uh, with the kind of smash window but this time it's a comic book store and what they did uh, for the 15th anniversary is they allowed or um um asked uh um ha had comic book stores and um, kind of submit their logos so they could have their own exclusive variant with their logo in the window so all the covers were the same but each shop kind of had like a different their logo there here so in this case it's uh, from a shop here in scotland um kind of out in fifeway i believe called the little shop of heroes um, and this is their their logo on the cover so i just thought that was a cool one to do for local comic book stores and um, so i imagine there's loads of these out here with uh, different logos on the window but still a cool window cover nevertheless um to feature kind of uh lcs's and uh, comic shops in general and um, so that's a great smash window cover on the cover of the walking dead number one uh 15th anniversary variant and my number one pick for the uh, window comic book cover challenge is Batman number 435. This is just a, a cover I've always really enjoyed where you have uh, this goon here with a knife uh, about to stab this clown dressed up as a Batman uh, who's, who's trying to, I guess, I guess he's trying to be the vigilante but um batman interrupts him and you only see batman and shadow as he opens the window as the the moonlight behind him kind of casts um, him and shadow in the window and shadow um and then kind of lights these two characters in the foreground so i just always thought this was really interesting a window cover and a really cool shadow cover it's just um yeah it's just a, a, a great a great cover a great cover to showcase windows and just a great cover in general so that's batman number 435 so that was my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan, the comic collector geek. Uh, this week's theme was, of course, window covers. So if you'd like to take part, then just dig through your uh, personal comic book collection and pick out uh, 10 covers that feature windows quite prominently and, uh, and make a video. And all you have to do is when you upload your video, just uh, if you tag it with the hashtags, hashtag window covers and hashtag uh, Friday comic challenge. That way, everyone that takes part in uh, these challenges can can find your video through those hashtags and check out the, the cool covers that you're showing in your video you never know we might see some cool stuff we want to add to our own collections and likewise if you check out other people's videos you might see some cool stuff that you want to add to your collection as well there's a lot of people taking part in these uh, challenges now which is great to see so it's so cool to see uh, so many different covers every week and um, also see my uh, uh, wish list uh, grow of, uh, of covers that I'd like to add to my collection if you'd like to check out some of my previous entries into the comic book cover challenge and please click on this playlist that's linked here at the side and otherwise i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching